Hi, it's Mark from Third Shot Sports. Uh, we had a request from a subscriber to get a video about how to receive a really fast ball when you're at the no volley line and to just gently send it back as a volley, like a drop volley we call that. And so he was asking, hey, I he was saying I have trouble when the ball comes fast, taking the speed away from that ball and sending it back uh, so it just lands gently in the kitchen. So um, there's a couple things that are really important here. Uh, one is that you realize that in order to absorb the speed of the oncoming ball, your hand has to be really soft. Okay, so the hand's gonna be really soft on the paddle. If you're very hard and stiff here, uh, your paddle's gonna act kind of like a wall and it's gonna send it back with speed. So it's really important that your hand be soft and relaxed. I know that can be hard when the uh, oncoming ball is pretty fast. But, um, so stay calm and uh, soften your hand. The second thing that's really important is that you're not adding speed to the ball. If that ball comes and you're trying to remove the speed, having a forward swing is not going to help you. So um, in order to absorb it, uh, with the kids we say it's like imagine your, your paddle was a pillow and you need to absorb the speed of the oncoming ball. Okay, it's not going to be a forward swing at all. Okay. Um, finally, it's really important that your hands be out front. Okay. So when you're receiving that ball, if your hands are in here by your body, it becomes very difficult to control it. So it's really important that your hands be out front, and when that fastball comes, that you open your hand, either to your forehand side or to your backhand side, let the ball hit, and, um, and, and don't add any speed. Uh, you can try this out if you want. Um, you can take your paddle and just hold it with two fingers. And you'd be amazed how when that ball comes at you, if you hit the center of the paddle, how that will be sufficient strength in order to send it back over the net as a drop volley. So it takes a lot of sensitivity, a lot of feel, a lot of touch. Get out there, practice, have your friend send balls fast to you and see if you can send it back. Here's a video of what that looks like. Thanks for watching. And as always, uh, comment below or you can send me an email, mark at thirdshotsports.com. Take care.